Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the WDF or Windows Driver Framework blue screen error message you're getting on your Windows 11 computer when you are booting up. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue and in today's tutorial I'm going to go over a few potential workarounds for this. First thing I'd recommend doing would be just to go ahead and actually try and let it boot into the troubleshooting options. If you're unable to actually boot into this menu that you see that's loading here, you can go ahead and actually download the media creation utility from Microsoft and download the ISO to a DVD or USB and boot your computer from it. And then select the repair my computer option while the setup is beginning. Again, I have a tutorial on my channel for that, so you can search for that on my channel. Again, how to, number one, create the media creation utility. And then the second part, actually installing Windows 10, there's an option in actually installing Windows, there's an option to repair my computer. And it will launch very similar options that you're gonna see here. Go ahead and select the Advanced Options button. And now you have several different options here, but we're going to select Troubleshoot, Reset Your PC, or See Advanced Options. And now, like I said, you can reset this PC, let you choose to keep or remove your personal files, and then reinstall Windows. Or you can select Advanced Options, which we're going to select first. So I recommend first selecting Start or Prepare, Fix Problems to Keep Windows from Loading. So go ahead and select that first. And you see it, didn't, it wasn't able to fix our computer, which is okay because we do have more options here. And I do want to actually show other stuff here too. So you can go back into Troubleshoot as well, Advanced Options. If you have any system restore points, I'd recommend checking them out in here as well. And again, if you had anything in here, they'd be listed. I recommend restoring back the most recently created restore point. So again, just giving you guys another option there. Go back to Troubleshoot and then select Advanced Options again. We're just trying something else. And you can also try and select Uninstall Updates, which will uninstall latest quality or feature updates. We recommend trying that here. So let's try and uninstall the latest quality update here. And select Uninstall Quality Update. And give it a moment here. You see it wasn't able to find anything here, but in your case, again, very likely might have. It's a very new machine here. That's probably one of the reasons. Something else we could try going under the command prompt option here would be to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. And once that one's done, you want to type in chk dsk space forward slash f and then a space. Type in the drive loader that Windows is installed on. Most of you guys are probably the C drive, so I'm just going to type the C drive, which is true in my case. And then a colon. So again, chk dsk space forward slash f space c colon. And again, the C will change depending on your drive letter. Hit enter on your keyboard. And once that is done here, you can close out of here. And you can go ahead and select continue exit to Windows 10. See if that has resolved the problem. If you're still having an issue, we can go back in the troubleshoot again. At this point, if we've, like I said, we've tried many options here already. If you're still having a problem, you can try resetting your computer. Let you choose to keep or remove your personal files and then reinstalls Windows. And then you have the option to keep your files, remove apps and settings, but keeps your personal files, or remove everything, which removes all your personal files, apps, and settings. Keep in mind, even though it says keep my files, I would not count on that. There's definitely a chance it's not going to keep all your files in certain file directories, depending on where you save your files, images, documents, that kind of thing. Um, I would go with that over removing everything if you want to try and recover stuff. But generally speaking, I would assume that you know, the worst and, you know, hope for the best kind of 
scenario there. Um, you can try and recover your files through other means, other software that I am not going over in this tutorial today. That's a different topic about data recovery. But just for the purpose of this tutorial about getting our Windows computer up and running again, we can go ahead and select keep my files, remove apps and settings, but keeps your personal files. So we're going to go ahead and select that here. And we're going to go select local reinstall, reinstall Windows from this device. And this will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient. And it's going to say, are you ready to reset this device? This cannot be undone. Make sure your device is plugged in. This may take a while. Resetting will change settings back to their defaults. Keep personal files. Reinstall Windows from this device. And remove all apps and programs that did not come with this PC. Go ahead and select Reset.
Okay guys, there we go. So that should hopefully be about it. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.